Good morning, St. Francis. It is Friday, December the 11th, 2020, Friday of the second week of Advent. We have made it halfway through Advent, halfway through the Advent season. Can you believe it? I'm coming to you this, coming to you this, uh, this morning uh, from the uh, grove of trees that kind of front uh, Leesville Road, uh, our, our property on Leesville Road. Uh, this is on the other side of Founders Hall and uh, the, the preschool. Um, again, it's another beautiful little vista over here that's also very uh, nice. Um, but with the hum of the traffic as it travels along Leesville Road, and as you can even hear perhaps the traffic from 540, um, Jesus speaks to us in this halfway year, in this halfway point of Advent. Um, what are we listening to? What is it that we have heard? Again, the Baptist proclaims, you know, repentance, reclaims the baptism for the forgiveness of sins. The, ba the Baptist proclaims that someone is coming greater than he. How are we listening to this? What are we listening to? Because in the first reading from Isaiah and, this, and the gospel reading from uh, Matthew's gospel, basically Jesus is asking us, you know, that very question. Um, how have we listened to God? How have we listened to him? Again, Isaiah's reading, God promises, you know, to give us everything that we need to take care of us. If only we would heed, if only we would pay attention, God can give us that hope and peace that the world cannot give. In the gospel though, basically, we basically show ourselves as being of taunting of one another, of trying to make each other do what we want us to do, what we want them to do, because we think that we know the best way, because we think that we know what it's all about. In this year especially, in this Advent of 2020, there are so many people speaking so many things to us, and the question is, is actually, what are we listening to? And how are we listening to it? And are we hearing God in the midst of it? And what of God are we hearing in the midst of it? Because sometimes we rely only upon only the words that we speak, only the words that we are saying to each other again and again, which may sometimes be filled with wisdom, but which may many times may be filled with panic and terror and hysteria. How is God able to speak to us? And what is God being able to say? In the Northern Hemisphere especially, as darkness continues to grow at this time of the year, that understanding of things falling silent as night becomes larger and larger in our lives gives us an opportunity, hopefully, to be able to listen more to God, to listen to what it is that God is saying to us about our destiny, about our future, about our purpose as human beings in this world. If we just listen to ourselves, we talk in circles. If we just listen to ourselves, we end up, unfortunately, many times at just a dead end to add God's voice to that conversation, to listen to what it is that God has to tell us and what God says to us, is one of the great benefits of Advent. It's one of the great benefits of being able to welcome a Savior in our midst. May the Lord give you peace.